Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's me video game man is 15. We are back with some more Kingdom Hearts. And today we get to go do Atlantica. Now that's the level here. It's one that a lot of people actually really hate in the Kingdom Hearts series. And to be honest, when I first played I wasn't really a big fan of it either. But the biggest part that I hated about it was um, the boss fight. Now there's like um, two versions of the boss fight. And the first one took me a little bit to get used to to like figure out really what was going on. But the second one was a nightmare. And again, I think it's probably because of how under leveled I was. But, you know, that's what we're going to go and deal with today, is Atlantica. And then, uh, over there we're going to get the last turn page. And then, until we get, like, 55, we should be okay to go do some Winnie the Pooh stuff. Oh, shit. I just... I'm an idiot. Today's been a long, stressful day. Alright, here we go. Okay, guys. Prepare for landing. Okay. Uh, land where? In the sea? We'll drown. Not with my magic. We won't. Just leave it to me. Yeesh. I don't trust Donald. Show you how we swim around here. Ariel, King Triton will not like this. Oh, don't worry. Easy for you to say. Okay, it's time you learn how to swim properly. Okay. Now I've actually never seen the Little Mermaid movie before, so I don't know anything about it. Practice swimming with Flounder. Try to tag him. All right, begin. Alright, well, let's get through it then. Now, this level you can get lost really easily. So much that, you know, I wanted to actually do a test run on this level because I know how easily lost you can get. And I made like one little mistake during my test run that threw me completely off. That made me, you know, spend an hour on the level. So, hopefully, here we actually do a little bit better. We're more efficient. Okay, here we go. Alright, Flounder. Come on, man. Where are you? There you go. Good job! Now let's move on to self-defense! Sebastian! Yeah? <laughs> well, let's do it. Let's uh, kick some butt. Here we go. Okay. Uh. All right. Oh, we got them all. Cool. All right. Let's uh. Hit this. Is 
safe spot. Those creatures chased us here. Oh no, those monsters might be heading for the palace too. We better head back right away. But what if we run into a more on our way back? I'm sorry, but we need your help. Please come to the palace with us. The trident markers on the walls point the way there. We won't get lost as long as we follow them. Okay, let's get going. Alright. Let's bring Ariel in. Place of Donald. Take out all her stuff. Here we go. Get this, get that. Oh nice, she got some ether stuff, so that could really help. But let's go to hell. We'll go straight there. Cause under the sea, under the sea, this level sucks. It tastes like big butts. Take a look at me. Sorry, that sounded horrible. <clears throat> And the only reason that I know, like, the Under the Sea, like, song thing that's playing there in the background is because I believe Kingdom Hearts 2 on, like, the same Atlantica level, it's more like a weird musical type thing. Alright, here we go. Alright, so far so good. My memory is doing a little bit better here than before. Which is actually very good. All things considered. Alright. Uh, let's go up here. Nice and easy. And before we go to where those trident markers are, there's a place I need to go inside of first. And that's uh, this place down here, which is like Ariel's uh, Grotto. Because there's a torn page in here, and it's the final torn page that we need apart from what we need to get from the Dalmatians so once we get the 55 Dalmatians which I really hope we can here soon um, will be when uh, we can finish or go do maybe even finish uh, the why I spoiled earlier with the Winnie the Pooh stuff All right, here we go. All right, so far, so good. Now let's get out of here and go see Triton. Which, from what I've noticed, like, replaying through this game, and, like, through some of the Disney characters, um, you know, people over at Walt Disney really had a thing for, like, Greek gods or whatever. Cause you could say that Triton is like a version of, um, Perse- no, I don't think it was Perseus, um, the water guy. And then, you know, Hades, which, you know, Greek mythology as well as, uh, Hercules. As I have my trident, I will not tolerate those creatures inside this palace. Daddy? Oh, Ariel, when will you listen? It's dangerous out there. Um. Strange creatures lurk outside. <coughs> Behold, you sweep before the ruler of the seas. His Majesty, King Triton! And who are they? They helped us fight off those creatures. Mm, they don't look familiar. We're from an ocean very far away. Yup, yup, we came to find the keyhole. The what? What's that? Yup, well, it's a... There's no such thing, certainly not here. But Daddy... 
Ariel, not another word. You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? Hmm. Oh. Perhaps I'm being too strict. I'm just concerned for her safety. Of course, Your Majesty. But I must admit, now I'm quite curious about this keyhole. That need not concern you, Sebastian. Have you anything to report? Just as you suspected, Your Majesty, they seem to be coming from Ursula's Gurato. I knew it. That sea witch is up to no good again. I see exile from the palace has taught her nothing. Yes, she poses serious danger. And I told you to keep Ariel away from such danger, did I not? Your Majesty, please, I... Hmm. All right, here we go. What's going on now? Okay, so I believe we gotta leave the palace now that there's the Heartless. Let's go from there. Also, too, I do apologize for not getting these videos and whatnot out, you know, on a scheduled basis. I've just been way too damn busy. Uh, come to my grotto. I want to show you something. There it is, see? Okay. And that dolphin there will definitely play into effect and will help us later on. So let's go down in here. And let's see how well I remember all of this. Because like I said, during the first trial run of this, it was bad. Look at all the wonderful things Flounder and I have collected. I think it's all from the outside world. Someday I'm going to see what's out there. I want to see other worlds. Does that sound strange? No, not at all. Uh, I used to feel the same way. Used to. I mean, uh, I still do. Hey, why don't we try looking for that keyblade you were talking about? Uh oh. Bad idea. But your father said. Oh, he treats me like a little girl. He never wants to let me do anything. He just, he just doesn't understand. Well, Ashley does understand, and everything your dad's trying to do is for good, you... Yeesh. <sighs> I don't know what these are. are supposed to be like electric eels or something. But the girl could prove useful, and I've got the heartless Smith on my side. Triton, my old friend, <laughs> your day is coming. <laughs> yeah, I hate Ursula. At least here in the first game, I do. And that's because of all the crap I had to deal with when I first played this game, man. It was horrible. Hopefully, you know, again, we can be overpowered enough to where we can actually kick some ass, but it really will have to depend on how things turn out. If you catch my drift. Oh, come on. We actually need to get going. Go all the way out, because there should be a dolphin outside of the, um, that one place. Um, I don't know why the place is not coming to my mind. It should as we go up here. 
uh, the undersea valley. That's where the uh, dolphin should be because it should, in theory, lead us into the water current down in the calm depths that will lead us into a certain area. Uh, if a memory serves me well. But I don't remember if I was supposed to see Flounder before this or just go and see. So if we don't see any like dolphins or anything out here while we try and fight these guys we may have to go back, talk to Flounder, and then go right back here all over again. Which I really hope we don't have to because that would suck and kinda I uh, wouldn't make me, you know, the happiest camper, but, you know, let's try and, uh, get this finished. <clears throat> okay. And also, too, I need to make a, a video and whatnot. Actually, I need to get the footage and whatnot for the, um, behind the channel video that I did over this couch. Because I had been struggling to get all that because of... Uh, my Microsoft and everything on my main computer being expired, so I can't really get footage from A to B, which sucks. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Oh, here, let me try and hit these guys real quick. Oh, come on. Ow. Nice and easy. Come on now. Do better. Be better. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, shoot. Okay. There. Now, I want to do this to also try and level up just a little bit. Because I don't want to take a chance of us being underpowered when we do face um, Ursula. Since this is the level's, like, big bad. Um, as shown in the little cutscene beforehand, so... Right there's the dolphin. So we ride that just to also kind of get close to the grotto thing too. But as you can see, it gives us a little bit of experience, on like where to go, how to go, whatnot. Okay, now let's drop down here just to talk to Flounder, and then go back to the undersea valley. Go from there. Just try and uh, get through as much as we possibly can. There's this really big fish who can swim against the current. But he's scared of those weird things swimming around. Okay. So if we chase them away, I think the big fish will play with us. Okay. Maybe if you grab onto him, he'll take you somewhere. Okay, now hopefully that that makes the uh, dolphin back in the undersea valley available. Hopefully. And also, too, I really want to try and get this done um, here soon because, again, I really want to start uh, doing a replay through on GTA San Andreas again, you know? I've been... Like, I got all the footage for, like, that first video to go up soon, but I want to try and get this done out of the way so I can only worry about one video playthrough at a time while for live streams we worry about, you know what I mean? Okay, let's go on up. I don't know. I feel like this isn't supposed to be where I'm at. <laughs> Oh, hell's bells. Yeah, nope. Let's go back, backtrack a little bit here. Try and get ourselves on out. Okay. Now we need to find that dolphin. Okay. Let's actually get right up around here. Okay. Because I know it travels. Like, you could almost say great distance, possibly, but... There you go, take that out. Come on. And you know, at least Ariel here is a beast. That's at least something I can 
appreciate a little bit. There we go. So far, so good. Oh. There we go. Okay. Now, there's that dolphin, so let's try and get onto him. Get away from the Heartless. Just follow the dolphin. Alright. There we go. Now, let's grab onto him. And he should be able to take us to said place. Hopefully. Come on, dolphin. Also, too, I might be betting on a little bit of football uh, tomorrow. We'll actually have to see how it all goes, but... Um, I've been considering on, like, um, doing a little bit of betting with... Uh, NFL and whatnot, you know, a little bit here and there. And, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna have to do some research, like, later on today before I uh, live stream Watch Dogs, which I might actually do two live streams of that, because I really want to get that done so we can do, like, a horror game or whatever, like, um, what I've been talking about and I've been mentioning. Um, but, I don't know. Well, kind of have to see how everything goes I guess and also too you get to you know hear me freak out so oh we're gonna need a bigger boat and let me be the first one to say the Jaws films are so dumb in my opinion like I hate the Jaws movies by the way is that the shark from Finding Nemo because I really think it might be. Because it looks just like him. Huh. Its shape reminds me of something. Well, I mean, it should. I mean, it looks just like the one in your grotto. So, yeah, man. Alright, now we gotta fight off that shark. So let's get him done out of our way. And then we gotta go back to Ariel's uh, grotto. So let's get him. Here, take him out. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Oh god, got him. There we go. Not too bad, not too shabby. Now we need to go down into a spot. So we can, um... I can't, no, not the calm depths. That's not where we want to go. Let's go back. Um... Because you know that spot by Ariel's Grotto where that big box thing is in the way? There's a spot down here that leads you um, to the way to get that thing unstuck. So all you have to do is just go right down from that spot. Which I believe is right here in the Undersea Gorge or whatever. And I believe we gotta hit this. And then boom. Just like that. And now we can go back into Ariel's Grotto now. And let's see what happens, really. Oh, let's go on over. There we go. Ariel, you've disobeyed me again. I told you not to leave the palace! Daddy, no! How could you? Young man, you're not from another ocean. You're from another world, aren't you? Huh? Then you must be the key bearer. How did you know? You may fool Ariel, but you can't fool me. You don't know your dorsal fin from your tail. Uh. As the key bearer, you must already know one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. Of course I know that, but... You have violated this principle. The key bearer shatters peace and brings ruin. Oh, Sora's not like that. I thank you for saving my daughter, but 
There is no room in my ocean for you or your king. So, King Triton is the first, you know, person there in the world that absolutely... Oh, hang on, this is another cutscene. Give me one second. My, my. The poor child suffers such deep sorrow. What a pity. If only there was something we could do. Wait, maybe she can be of some help. Yes. Maybe she can be of some help to you. Who are you talking about? Oh, she would surely help you. She'd make all your dreams come true. First, you can help. Don't do it, Ariel. You cold, my dear. You're Ursula. Well, I was just wondering if... It's all right. Helping others is what I live for. Let me guess. You wish to see other worlds. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. After all, your new friends came from another world. <coughs> what? But they had special help. That mysterious key. Now, now, cheer up, sweetie. You have something special, too. Huh? Now listen carefully. Don't do it, Ariel. Alright, well, as I was saying before that cutscene, is that King Triton is the only one that really knows what their initial intentions were. And, you know, he was right that, you know... I think the keyhole they seek is somewhere in the palace. Now, my dear, if you can take me there without your daddy knowing... Can help you get to these other worlds you long for. The King Trin was right because they are meddling in other worlds and whatnot. But what he has wrong is that they're bringing, you know, ruin and whatnot. But he was absolutely right that from the very beginning they have been meddling in other worlds, which is something that they were told not to. But they're also doing it for the greater good to help preserve the world, or at least try. Ursula, no! I didn't want this! Why not? Aren't you tired of following your dear daddy's orders? Oh, yes! We had a deal, didn't we? Time for a little journey to the dark world of the Heartless! We cannot find the keyhole. The keyhole is not here. What? Why, we have company. I'm afraid you're a little late, handsome. <laughs> Ursula draws power from her cauldron. To defeat Ursula, you must strike her cauldron with magic. Alright. And that will be something that we might actually have to do on the next video. I want to see if there's like a save spot over... By, um... Ursula's like, um, s uh... Shit. What's the name that I'm trying to look for, uh... Like, by her cauldron area, because I believe that there's, like, another save area by that said point. But I'm not fully positive, so... Um, if it, there is, then we'll go, we'll save, we'll call it good, we'll start the boss fights in, uh, tomorrow's video. Or, actually, I'm actually gonna record it 
today, so it could be a, today's video, but still. You know, my main premise here is just to try and get this playthrough thing completed, in a sense, so. Okay. Uh, trying to figure out where I need to go, but now I actually do know, so we're good. Just drop down here, like so. And good thing I removed that spot, because we, if you didn't remove that spot, you would have to go the long way around. And that's kind of a waste of time, if you ask me. I know from personal experience. So. Oh, wait a minute, we can't examine it. I don't think. Isn't there something else you should be doing? Whoa. Okay, we gotta take out this shark again to be able to get through. So let's do it. Come on. Go back to finding Nemo where you belong. You little annoying shark. Take him, take him, take him. Destroy the man. Maybe. Oh, did I get him? Now I got him. Alright, good. Good deal. Now he can go. Oh, let's collect these two things here. High potion and an ether. Good deal. And need some help? I'll show you how it's done. Alright. Thank you, uh, Sebastian. I almost slaughtered his name on accident, but it's alright. Let's uh, go avoid these guys. Let's just find a safe spot. And call the video good for today. But if you guys like this video, definitely consider giving it a like. I'd greatly appreciate that and your guys' support. Um, and, you know, we'll be live streaming uh, more watchdogs. Hopefully, we can get that done. If not today, definitely tomorrow. And I will see you all next time. You guys take care. Stay safe. Um, see you guys with the channel update video and whatnot. But until then, uh, see you guys later. Bye, guys.